Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We're here again live from Nexus 2012 with Joe Nickel. Joe, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Now, usually when I do these interviews, I introduce people by their career or what they're best known for. But through further conversation with you, I think that would take up at least 15 minutes in and of itself. You've got quite a storied, uh, storied life there. Yeah, you can say I was just the short version. Is I've, I was a professional magician. I was a detective, private detective, and... Uh, later in life, an academic, and um, now maybe the world's only full-time professional paranormal investigator. I have to know. <laughs> and speaking of which, you talked today about an investigation that you did. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. This is one of my early cases and remains today one of my favorites, one of my personal favorites. It's a case of strange coincidence and even synchronicity. It's called the case of the two Will Wests, a uh, case that's been called the most astonishing case of of two lookalikes in human history or the most incredible coincidences ever recorded, that sort of thing, happened in 1903. And uh, basically, the law enforcement people couldn't tell one guy from the other, apparently unrelated, and uh, it was the case that made fingerprinting in America. Uh, but what I did was to show that there was much, much more to that story, and it's not like so much of what I do. Uh, might not be the way it looked at first sight. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to stop you right there because the videos are going to be up soon online, the entire video of your talk, and so I want people to go check that out. You might not, it might not be up yet, but keep checking back on the uh, New York City Skeptics website for that. Now, you are headquartered at the Center for Inquiry in Buffalo? Buffalo, New York, that's right. We survive uh, every winter. So when people want to find out more about what you're doing, writing about, working on, can they check out the Center for Inquiry website? They can. They can also look at my personal website, joenickel.com, and, of course, follow my blogs and otherwise uh, my Facebook page and otherwise be obsessed with me. <laughs> I'm not, and... Uh, I'm, I'm out busy doing something meaningful, but if they want to, they can, they can check out those things. And on his website, not only can you find a list, a uh, bibliography, a list of all your works, but also a list of all of the personalities you've had over the years. I call them personas. So, yes, there's, uh, we have over 300 posted. We're just getting started. Um, it takes time to rummage up the old pictures and write them up. But, yeah, you'll see me as a blackjack dealer and anti-war activist, civil rights worker, riverboat manager. It's a long, long list. I've had a great, uh, a great run. Very nice. Well, Joe, thank you very much for joining us here. My pleasure.